Yes, I was looking to sell like a Universal Audio Aero. I took my Apollo Twin X and my Universal Audio Aero to Guitar Center to see exactly how much they want to buy it for. I'm really shocked at what they told me, but let me just start from the beginning real quick. Go ahead and hit that like button, it helps with the channel. What's poppin' gang? Today we're gonna to be mixing and mastering a song that it's a paid session. Shout out to you guys that's supporting and investing in yourself. You know what I'm saying? You gotta invest in yourself. And if you feel like you're not the greatest at something, go ahead and hire somebody else to do it. You feel me? I like mixing and mastering your song, so I appreciate all the support that I get from this channel and everything. So I gotta go do that, but before I mix that song, I gotta eat first. You know what I'm saying? Your boy is hungry, so I'm just gonna be taking my girl out to eat real quick. And then we're coming back into the studio. So before I go to Guitar Center, I gotta go eat something, you know what I'm saying? Took my girl to this nice restaurant. Um, they had some pretty nice sushi and all that kind of stuff. So if you ever wanna go and get some sushi, check out this restaurant. Before I go to Guitar Center, I got a song that was sent in by the gang from one of you guys. So I appreciate you guys uh, sending in paid sessions and stuff like that. So I'm about to actually work on that right now. Before I mix the song, I got to let people know on social media, like on Instagram and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I got to promote my business so other people know that what I'm doing is other people can see and think that, okay, I need to get this done for myself. You know what I'm saying? So I got to make an Instagram post real quick so other people can see what I'm doing so I can get paid for different other avenues on different platforms. Yo, shout out to all the artists that invest in their sales. You know what I'm saying? If you need your song mixed and mastered, go ahead and click on the button right here. Click on the button right here if you want your song mixed and mastered. Let's go. All right, I think that was pretty good. Okay, so I have the session pulled up, ready to go. And the session, it looks pretty easy. Like this, this is the whole session right here. Um, but I'm thinking there's low key a problem. Um, when the artist sent me the session, his vo his verse kind of just cut off. I don't think he meant to do that. You know what I'm saying? Let me just play just the end part. Niggas wanna hang, I know shit I want to watch. Yeah, so it just cuts off. So I, I <sighs> this is another case of a bad session sent in. And this is literally what I deal with, man. <laughs> so I'm not sure if he did that on purpose or not, but I went ahead and messaged him like, yo, did you do this on purpose or what? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I don't think that was meant to be there. But if he says, yeah, I'll go ahead and get started and run his vocals through this knee 1073 preamp and just keep moving forward, man. I don't know. People just be saying that all kind of stuff. <laughs> but hey, man, shout out to him for uh, going ahead and, and investing in himself and having someone else mix his song even though he is willing to learn but he's just not there yet you know what i'm saying as far as like mixing i can see some of the effects that he used on his vocals and it was all free plugins so shout out to him for trying um but yeah i i can definitely do a lot better on this mix but i don't know if he sent it right and because i don't know if this session is really done or that i need to go ahead and see if there's another session i could do my bro hit me up last night and said that he wanted me to mix a song but he needed it done asap he wanted some type of melodyne effect on there, like Drake, you know what I mean? Like Drake be using auto-tune, but not really auto-tune. Like he used something else where it's called like melodyne or something like that, where you fix each and every note to, to the key, you know what I'm saying? And he wanted that done like ASAP, ASAP. So I was like, nah, man, I don't know if I can do that in time. I got other sessions like I do like this one, but they not even ready. So I, you know, I might just call him up real quick and just see uh you know how's it going because he said he needed that done but you know when you have clients and stuff here's a tip right here if you got people that you ever work with and you want to keep having clients and stuff like that just hit them up just see how they doing you know what i mean uh that's a really powerful tip like just check on them you know what i mean all the people that bought from you or or helped you or whatever you know what i'm saying just check on them see how they doing see if they need anything you know what i mean What's poppin' gang? So today, um, I'm thinking about selling my Universal Audio at Guitar Center. Actually, I wanted to see how, how much they would buy both of my Universal Audio interfaces. If you don't know already, I got an Aero and a Twin X, you know what I'm saying? And I really like using the Twin X and I really don't want to sell it, to be honest with you. But I just want to see how much Guitar Center will actually buy it for, you know what I'm saying? I paid $1,600 for my Twin X. Uh, I would more so sell my Aero because I really don't use it. Um, like I used to now because I got a new interface, you know what I mean? But I really want to see how much they want to buy Twin X for it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how much they're they going to try to offer me. I honestly paid a lot of money for it, 
and it's a quad, you know what I mean? So it's not the little boy, it's not the duo, it's not the solo, you know what I mean? So this is a, it's the quad, you know what I'm saying? So, and I actually bought it from this location. So I just, I don't know what they're gonna say. I bought it from this exact location. So they might actually buy it. I don't know, who knows? It might give me a full refund. <laughs> now I don't want to see my baby go. I ain't gonna lie, man. I really like using this, but if they give me a good price and a good offer for the arrow, okay. You know what I'm saying? You might you might can go ahead and have that. You know what I'm saying? Give me like four hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Three ninety. You know what I mean? That's that's cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I got my little bag here ready to go, and uh, let's go. Thanks for calling Guitar Center, Carrie. This is Josh. Hey, uh, I just wanted to ask a quick question. Um, I'm looking at selling my. Uh, do you guys buy used gear? Uh, we do. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, Where are you looking to sell? Yes, I was looking to sell like a Universal Audio Aero. Okay. And uh, maybe even a, a Twin X. Okay. Now I, I will say, um, just for the sake of us buying it in, we have to we have to be able to test everything. Okay. Um, if anything that you have is USB C, bring something that we can test it out with because we don't have any USB C equipment here. Okay, I could do that. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. All right. Sounds good, man. Let's see what they what they want for it. Let's see. The fact that I bought the exact same Universal Audio Twin X from this exact same location from Guitar Center, I wonder if they just want to just take a refund or how much would they actually buy it for? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, hopefully they just give me half the whole store or just half the, I don't know, maybe just another interface or something like that. I mean, I've seen they had other interfaces like from Universal Audio, but I mean, that's the same interface. Like, why would I buy the same thing over again? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. They looked at my computer, they looked around and see if it actually worked or not. You know what I'm saying? Before they actually made an offer. And you know what I mean? They just looked through plugins, see if the plugins work and made me an offer I couldn't turn down. All right, so I just left Guitar Center and they told me like 125 for the arrow. Honestly, bro, I, I, I can't do it, man. That's way too low. And then uh, they offered me 715 for the Apollo Twin X. I can't do it, man. That's way too low. I'm sorry. All right, gang. So I'm back at the studio, and honestly, man, I'm I'm really disappointed in the low ball offer that I got from Guitar Center. But it's okay. You know what I mean. I wasn't planning on really selling it anyway. Uh, I just wanted to see what they was gonna offer me. You know what I mean. So and and I was really disappointed. But anywho, we need to go ahead and finish editing the video for Monday. That video will be up. It's called like it's called the five best tips for like mixing vocals and stuff like that. I highly recommend you guys check out that video. You click at the card at the top right. You know what I'm saying? And now I gotta go ahead and put all this whole thing back together to edit these videos and mix this page session I got. So let's go ahead and get to it. If this video gave you a little bit of joy, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps with the channel. Also, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified about more videos like this. Let me know in the comments what other videos you wanna see on this channel. You guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.